Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Rockcan, and today we are going to be hopping back into some Slime Rancher 2. Now, my goal is to finally get to the Ember Valley and see what's up there, but first I do want to sell up a ton of plorts. Alright, now that we've got a bunch of money, we'll be good to go for anything that we need to buy or craft. Because I'm thinking we will need to get some ranch expansions pretty soon, given the amount of slimes that we have. We do still need to feed the pink gordo before we can get to the Ember Valley. So let's grab up some food. Hey there, buddy. Alright, gordo popped. Jet up. And we can activate the teleporter. And here we go to the Ember Valley. Now, I have been here a little bit because of some of my guides that I've made, but I haven't really explored. So I'm super excited to get to do that now for this Let's Play. We might as well grab Radiant Ore. This is a little tided area. What have we got going around? There is a ruined island over there, which I kind of want to get to. What's going on here? I really like the ruins, and I feel like we're going to get the final bits of lore on it throughout whatever lore we're getting when this game fully releases. Just the, the who built them, how, why, and I'm excited for it. This is a pretty basic area. Just got a ton of slimes, a little bit of food. Oh, and a drone. The first time I was here, I turned this entire ruined complex into a beautiful garden. I never know the original purpose of this place, but I thought its creators might be happy, knowing that far into the future, someone is making sure it still had a purpose. There's no time for that now, but I am going to at least plant some of my favorite flowers right here, and hope that in time they'll flourish and cover these ruins once more. Maybe if I ever make it back home, I can see it myself. I feel like we haven't got much information on when the drones came, but if these are those flowers, it must have been at least a month or so to let the garden bloom. Really cool to see this ruined area, Let's head back out, though, and see what stuff we can find. I'm interested in new slimes, in new resources, and we will need to find some of the Gordos. I do know where some of them are. I believe this is the entrance into the cave. So let's come and check that out. We've also managed to get a ton of Radiant Ore so far. So hopefully we can get something good with that. Another strange diamond. Okay. We're going to be able to do some teleporting soon, which is super nice. And we got a stalagmite. And I believe these are pomegranates. Yes. Let's grab them and then I think look for some batty slimes, which we should be able to find. Nice. There's some fire slimes and boom slimes. Cool, and the batty gordo. Hey, buddy. I think the first thing we're gonna bring is batty slimes and the pomegranates. So let's grab up some of them. We can combine the baddies with the flutters to be able to ranch them easily. I feel at home here. When I traveled across the glass desert, okay. So this person has been to the main island as well. It was caves just like this one that gave me shelter and allowed me to survive my trek. Just feeling walls around me and solid ground beneath my feet gave me all the security I needed to close my eyes and make it through another night. But I can do without some of it. Like if I ever smell roasted cactus again, I'm pretty sure I'd bark. So that confirms that whoever sent the drones has been to the main island from Slime Rancher 1. Which makes me wonder if it is Hobson. Obviously, a ton of people could have been there over the years, but Hobson's the only one we know of for sure. Let's grab the first map node, which shows off a cave behind us. 
I do want to check that out, but I think first let's deposit everything we've got. Back up here we get, and away we go. I'm just going to deposit these into the refinery link, and then let's head back and explore that new cave, and probably grab boom and fire slimes. Whoa. What is this? Oh, here's the entrance to the cave. Cool. Oh, this is the... This area is from one of the screenshots. So it's the Tide Pool Caverns. Which is super cool. There's a door out with a... I'm guessing this is a boom slide. Oh, and there's another one up there. Okay. That's a cool little cave. Oh, that's death. Okay. Close call. Exploring this world is so wild. It's such a detailed and intricate map. There is more cave down here, so what's up? Oh, just more sunlight. Oh, cool, this area. This is where a map node is, so let's go grab that. Up, up, and away. Here is the map node. And then maybe we get crystal slimes, which we will want to combine with something else because odd onions grow weirdly. I really like this area. Is there a secret behind this waterfall? Nope. Just death. Let's run in here, grab those boom slimes, and then head out. Hey buddies. Six boom slimes should be enough, so let's start the trek back home now. We haven't even been to the true lava zone. I'm excited for that. This biome definitely feels a bit less locked down than the Starlight Strand was. Maybe that's just because my first time coming here I've already got the jetpack, but there seems to be a lot more doors and sort of path restrictions in Starlight. Back we are. Let's go get some pomegranates planted. Eight slimes should be enough, so the rest of these baddies can just go towards the caves. Chill over there, my guys. And get some food. These slimes are gonna have so much flight. And it does look like they produce the plorts we want, which is excellent. I was a little bit worried that with Flutter's food particularities, this wouldn't actually work. Next up, I think let's get this ranch expansion. Because I like it. This is the only one I've actually explored so far. I did some all ranch expansion speedrunning, and you have to run through here to get to the other area. So let's just draw a farm there, which we'll eventually want, and a corral, get some upgrades for it, and since there's no food, I can just throw all of these buddies in. We'll eventually move crystals into a different tank as we introduce the actual Largos for there, but I do think that this is where we're going to end off today's episode. We finally got into the Ember Valley, and we got some fresh new slimes to expand our base with. You are weirdly shaped. But yeah, so that is where we're going to wrap this up. As always, thank you very much for joining me today. It's been a ton of fun, and I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, get subscribed for more Slime Rancher 2, and I'll see you in another one. Thanks for watching.